and I'll share some stories of people that I've worked with using the arts and how art has helped them to open up or helped them to change or see the world as a little bit better of a place. From the time I was little, people always asked me what I wanted to do with my life. And I was always like, art and people. Like I'm studying art for one degree and humanities for my second degree. I want to work with art and people. And to me, the art and people, art and humanity, art and culture are, they're one thing. You can't really have a culture without the arts. When you silence the arts, you're like stifling the culture. There's so many connections there that I think are just so, so important and inseparable. And I do believe that they are so connected. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll, I'll do a brief introduction. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. My teaching background is pretty diverse. I have always liked working with people that a lot of people don't want to work with. So the other or the outcasted people, like those are, um, those are the people that I'm drawn towards. And I really think that art has a, a huge place in the lives of those people. So in the past, I've taught people from um, when I was in Haiti, I ended up doing, it, this wasn't the plan of the trip, I just took the supplies with me and ended up teaching paper bead making and bracelets uh, for a couple days actually to the women and children. And um, I've also seen the other end of that where I've, I've worked with in residential treatment where um, there are lots of mental, uh, psychological and uh, emotional disorders and such things where it's, um, it's not necessarily a good environment to be in, but I, lo I love working with all different types of people. Also, I've worked in Dayhab for adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities, which is also a favorite uh, place of mine as well. I really enjoy working with kids that want nothing to do with the world and that the world has kind of said they want nothing to do with them. Uh, the kids that the world sees as hopeless, that there's really no chance for. But if, if you've watched my videos, um, some of my more serious belief videos, you guys know that I, I believe in redemption and I believe in like radical redemption and hope and change. And I, I do believe that the arts is one medium that God uses to change people's hearts and change them from the inside out. And uh, so I, I, I really do believe and cherish the way that arts can uh, impact a person. So I hope these stories or I hope you find them inspirational or encouraging that maybe you can do art with someone or maybe someone you've been thinking like, oh, this person should do art. Like maybe you just take two colors and help them mix. Maybe you just sit at a table and bring out some art supplies and draw as you talk. I don't know. I'm not an art therapist. I'm not like a certified psychologist or anything, but I, I do believe and I have seen that art can have those therapeutic uh, results and break down boundaries and walls that are only blocking and like hurting us and hurting each other and relationships with each other. I hope that this video is inspiring and encouraging. If you liked it, comment below, thumbs up, but also comment with each other. Talk to each other about, do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree with what I'm saying? Do you think that art has, has an impact on your life? Have, are you a creator? Are you a writer? Are you, are you a dancer? What, tell me more about how it's impacted you or someone you know. So thanks guys. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe. I do make art videos primarily. Also, I'm trying to do more talk videos. I really enjoy this, but they take a long time for me to edit. So I can't do as many as, as I would like, but give me topics and I will sort through them and start writing things up. So thanks guys. And I will see you later.